previously on Ashes. Okay. 
Jackson's not gonna work. There's gotta be another way. Those people will still be here. They can't be far. I don't hear anything. For anyone. Staff are responsible for maintaining installation, integrity, and monitoring of science staff activity. Under no circumstances are staff allowed to deviate from assigned duties. Insubordination or interference with fault operations are capital offenses. Security staff are authorized to use lethal force. Underwear human subjects. Why? Bombs were falling. The world was coming to an end. Why did they care? Operation protocols. Resident amenities. Upon activation notice from Voltec, all personnel are required to report to the entrance and assist with admittance of Volta residents. 
Security personnel will maintain order and ensure that no personnel or residents attempt to evacuate the vault. Why would they? The research staff will be responsible for resident intake and escort each to the design cryogenic pod. Residents not accounted for in the manifest should be asked to step aside and detained forcefully by security if necessary. Once all residents have been sealed into their preservation chambers, dispose of any detainees. Vault entryway must remain sealed under any circumstance. They just kill anyone left. Staff duties. Besides, members of the research team must daily monitor the vital signs of cryogenically preserved residents. Cardio, pulmonary, and cognitive activity in particular must be recorded hourly. Life-saving intervention is only permitted if greater than 80% of the resident population is perishable in cryogenic suspension must not interrupt suspension. Independent research is, is encouraged and left to her discretion. They wouldn't intervene. They just let us die. Security personnel. Security patrols would be carried out on a constant eight hour rotation. Security priorities include monitoring for signs of intrusion, checking for atmosphere leaks, settling disputes among personnel, enforcement regulations set forth by the overseer, enforcement regulations set forth by Faltec. They have communication facilities. Due to the nature of Vault 111, Personnel will be expected to perform duties outside of their normal qualifications, such as janitorial duties and food preparation. The exact distribution of these roles is left to the overseer's discretion. All clear. All clear message. Following a nuclear event, Voltec will monitor hazards such as radiation levels, enemy invasion, subsequent attacks, and other factors. Once conditions are deemed safe, this terminal will receive an all-clear notice. Upon receiving the all-clear, Voltec personnel may be evacuated at overseer discretion. Disregard any notices from organizations or individuals not associated with Voltec including government and military. Residents are not to be disrupted or evacuated. Vault Tech will attend to their needs remotely once Vault 111 staff have been evacuated. They left. Explain. The lack of everyone. Shelter period. Vault 111 is classified as a short term assignment. Non resident personnel are expected to carry out research duties and basic maintenance of the vault while awaiting the all clear signal to evacuate. In the absence of an all clear message from Voltec, the Overseer may elect to evacuate staff after a mandatory shelter period of 180 days of containment. Under no circumstance may Vault 111 staff evacuate during the shelter period, unless receiving the all clear message from Voltec. I don't see it all clear. They never received it. But 180 days. When did they leave? It certainly looks like they left. If they were monitoring this remotely, 
they were just watching us die one by one. So life support failed. What did they gain? Why did they take Sean? The recreation terminal is a privilege. If work performance declines, this privilege may be revoked. Enjoy responsibility. Top ten. They're high scores. They were just playing games. Or we were frozen in there. Watching, studying. This should tape. I don't need this shit. I need answers, not this. Not 
not dead yet. So maybe... They shouldn't have to be changed now for a few decades. It'll be fine. Nothing else. More water. I'll take a bottle. Hello? Anyone? It's just all still. There's dust everywhere. Lockers are cleared out. Nothing else here. Looks like they turn the place. They leave in a hurry. No. Not a thing. Okay. There's gotta be something else. into the electrical room. Some more of those things. I'm going to have to be faster on my feet. Okay. There's one over there. More than that, maybe. Okay. Go near it. Shit. Come on. That's too easy. Just don't give any reason to spark. Come on. Okay. It's only sparking that way. Where is that? Come on. <coughs> Shit. <coughs> I not see any more. What the hell? Everything. All of your flesh. The hell. He didn't leave anything for me. Could have been a resident. Could have been Voltec. There's no way to tell from the suits. Son of a bitch drew blood. I don't want to wash that out. I don't see any more. That's a lot. No telling what those 
those things are carrying. of suspended animation on unaware humans. Yeah, same as normal. Wait, there's more? Insubordination. Wait, your staff is expended? Under no circumstance is suspension to be disrupted. This includes the administration of life-saving measures. Your staff is also considered expendable. Insubordination or attempts to evacuate prematurely are capital violations. Unused cryogenic pods are their preferred method of cadaver disposal. They put their own people in there to rid the bodies, to study them. Operations protocol. Looks like it's the same. It's anything different. Wait. It's the same. They didn't have any more information. Anything else? No. It's all the same. Long dreamed of making cryogenic freezing available in portable on demand form. The cryolator is my latest attempt. Thankfully, we're in no short supply of the chemicals and components I need to tinker with the prototype. It's a nice way to occupy the time as we wait for the all clear signal. Why would you need it? The overseer's log. Preparations. for them. Final staff orientation is complete. All but a few of the residents down in Sanctuary Hills have been enrolled. Several from Concord as well. vault supervisors came up this week to do a technical review with me. This vault is ready to open. I can only imagine what wonders our residents will get to witness. The notion of leaping forward in time. I almost wish I could join them and see the promise of our future realized. Did they intend to bring us back? How far? 
How far did we go? It's at least a year or two. Maybe more. October 23rd. It's happened. We were lucky. Most of the staff were nearby when the early warning came through. We had less notice than expected, but only Lord Hagen was missing when we sealed the entrance. Early warning. How the hell did they know? Residents' admittance went smoothly. Everyone made it, even the family that waited until the last minute. I was worried that there would be more suspicion. The things happened so fast for people. They must have been too overwhelmed to question the cryogenic pods. You were right. System malfunctions. Strange issue today with pod C3. Subject appeared to be having heart palpitations. Nothing life-threatening but unusual. We realized almost too late that the cryopod was not functioning. The cryogenic ray almost started thawing her out. We're not sure, but I suspect a hiccup in Voltex remote override systems may have sent an errant signal. We'll have to keep an eye out. I only hope their systems are reliable once we evacuate the staff. Remote override. Like mine. Why? Why now? It was frozen twice. How? How long? I can't remember. There's been no all clear signal yet, even though we're nearing the end of the 180 mandatory shelter period. Supplies were never intended to last much more than that. Despite my best efforts, people are beginning to question what we're doing down here. If people think we can just leave when the 180 days are up, they're insane. The radioactive exposure would still be potent enough to fry everyone. The vault seals are breached that early. The whole point of the all clear was meant to receive additional instructions from the main office. I don't know what to do. I can't open the vault. I can't expect our supplies to last forever. I just have to keep everything under control until the all clear. Looks like you couldn't, asshole. A faction led by the security personnel have turned on me, demanding that they be allowed to leave the vault. I will not open the door to be radiated to death out there. I'm consolidating the remaining supplies, putting the staff on lockdown. We're going to have to start prioritizing who deserves what little food we have left. I've been too damn generous with the rations. If people don't like it, well, there's few mouths to feed. Were you the overseer? One of them shoot you then. Evacuation time. You could have done it from here. The personnel evacuation tunnel is now open. Remind all staff to be orderly. Please maintain all staff records. Wait. What? This has been opened before. They would have killed you. To get out. The more 
weapons. So that's your pet project. Ammo boxes are barely readable. No need to carry more.
they killed to get through. Wait. Oh, the way's clear. This is a goodbye. It's not. Hope to see you again. One day. I'll find him first. I swear. It's got to be thin. There's a map. There's a radio. Nothing. Wait. Century Hills. The dates. No, 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 no. Twenty-two eighty-seven. The computer's gonna be screwed. Oh, no. 
Come on. further. If a boy's not lying, he didn't lie. Two hundred and ten years. 